Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I woke up and my house was still cleaned and organized from yesterday, which is very rare. Usually I'm cleaning and picking up every single day, so to wake up to almost a perfectly clean and organized house makes me extremely happy. Today Alex and I are hoping to be able to take James for a haircut because Alex cut James's hair and it is a cross between a bowl cut and a mullet. There is this cute little place in the Nashville area that specializes in kids cuts. And so we're going to hopefully take him there. The issue is there's actually supposed to be like a big storm system moving in today during the afternoon and evening with a serious threat of tornadoes. And as of filming this, the big F4 tornado that ripped through Nashville happened just last week. So we're kind of all still extra nervous, I guess, about storms and tornadoes. Blair was actually right directly in the path of, um, she like physically saw the tornado. It didn't hit our area, but um, it did hit her area. My mom and my grandmother, blah, blah, are actually visiting from out of town right now. And they've been switching off which place they've been at. They've had dinner here for the last couple of nights. And then tonight we all planned on having dinner at Blair's place and mom and blah are already there. And so that's the plan. If the storms don't get really bad, we're gonna do the haircut and we're going to do dinner at Blair's tonight. So I thought it would be a fun day just to take you guys along. If not, then we're gonna hope that they are willing to come here because this area might be a little bit safer. We're gonna kind of keep an eye on the storm system and see, but I think that her area is one step more at risk than our area. So if it is really bad, I'm going to encourage them to come stay at my house tonight and have dinner here, but otherwise we're gonna go there. So either way, should be fun. I'll keep you guys updated. I just had breakfast. I had one of these strawberries and cream oatmeals. I'll show you what the box looks like, but I've been loving these and James and I shared one this morning along with the yogurt. And of course I had my coffee and he had some juice, like watered down with water and um that is that is where the day has taken me so far this is my little filming setup that i had just now i have a tripod on a chair and then a light behind it and this is the oatmeal that i had for breakfast it's the organic instant oatmeal strawberries and cream this is so good it's super sweet and it's delicious i just make it with water Pretty healthy for what it is. I'm a big oatmeal fan. I have it pretty much every day. And then this is the kitchen. It's nice and clean. Like I said, super nice to wake up to a kitchen like this. I do need to put the toaster away. I don't know why I don't like toasters on counters, unless it's the white smeg one. Those toasters are really pretty. I wanted to show you guys this because I just did a video on this. I think it was the last video that went up before this one, but you guys, I'm so proud. If you have not seen that video, it's a toddler closet organization. I hear James crying. I have to go in there. Um, but yeah, if you have not seen that, you should check it out because I worked really hard on it. Okay. And it came out really, really cute. I just got done filming some clips for my master bathroom makeover video, which I'm really excited about. It has been a bigger project than I intended for it to be. I have been working on it for a couple of weeks now. James's closet, I was able to get done in one day, but this is just harder because there's a lot of smaller things that need to be organized. They don't all fit in the same types of containers. So it was a little bit of a project. Like I had to go shopping for containers over three different shopping days. It just, it was a lot, but I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. There's a lot of tips in that video. So I am excited to put it out for you soon. James is napping now. So I have a few minutes and I wanna just talk to you guys about this whole trying to conceive baby number two and my emotions behind it and just open up a little bit about it. I think that, you know, when I was, when we were trying for James, I actually didn't talk about it at all publicly until after we were 12 weeks pregnant with him and we announced it. And I just feel like it's taking a long time for the second one. And I just feel more down this cycle than I have previous ones. And I know that there might be women out there who um, feel the same way and maybe would feel less alone if I was more open about it. So that is what I am going to do in this video. But 
Before I get into that, I did want to talk about today's sponsor. I chose this video in particular to incorporate this sponsorship because it directly relates to what I'm talking about in this video, and that is my prenatal vitamin. This is the Ritual Essentials Prenatal. You've probably seen it on Instagram because it's the pretty gold vitamin. They do have a women's essential vitamin if you are not wanting a prenatal. I chose the prenatal because obviously I am trying to conceive. This isn't one of those, oh, they reached out to me and so I decided, sure, I'll use your prenatal vitamin. I was actually contacted by three different vitamin companies within one week of time, which was crazy. I was like, why, why all of a sudden all these vitamin companies? But what I did is I took all three and I really researched them. I also showed all three of them to my dad who is an OBGYN in addition to the one I was currently taking and kind of asked him from a doctor's perspective which one he would recommend I take. This is the one that I chose. It has an A rating on some of the independent websites. I will link one below. When you want to start trying for a baby, you actually want to start your prenatal three months before starting to try to conceive because there are certain vitamins in a prenatal that aren't in a women's vitamin that really help with the very early pregnancy development that are crucial to take. So I actually never went off my prenatal from the time I was pregnant with James and the nursing and then the time in between when we had stopped nursing but we weren't yet trying. I stayed on my prenatal because I wanted those vitamins in my system. You take two of these a day, they are vegan, and you get 12 essential nutrients for before and during pregnancy that are crucial for you and your baby. One of the big reasons that I chose this prenatal is because it had double the amount of folate from my previous prenatal. And folate is one of the most crucial prenatal nutrients that you will not get typically in a regular multivitamin. And it is so important to have that in your system from very early in pregnancy before you might even find out. And so that is one of the big reasons why I chose this in addition to having an amazing rating on a third party website. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like it is really pretty. Like why are these so pretty? It's sugar-free, allergen-free, non-GMO, vegan, all that good stuff. Also, one thing that I personally think is really cool is there is a lemon tab inside of here that gives it kind of a lemon like flavor profile. And I think that that's really interesting. And here's why. Their regular women's multivitamin has a mint tablet. And typically I love mint. But when I was pregnant with James, mint was one of the flavors that I could not stomach. And one of the flavors that I craved was citrus. So I'm wondering if they actually chose that purposefully to complement the prenatal version versus the regular one. I thought that that was really cool. Um, it makes your vitamins smell really good, so I definitely love that lemon tab. These are delivered directly to your door via a subscription, and of course I have a code for you guys. So if you go to ritual.com slash L and you use the code L, you can get 10% off your first three months with Ritual. I will have all of that information below. I definitely want to give a huge thank you to Ritual for supporting my channel. I'm very happy to be partnering with you guys and showing everyone the Ritual prenatal vitamin. I'm gonna go take these really fast and then I'm going to kind of resituate the camera so I can sit down and so I can tell you guys about the whole TTC. Okay, so when Alex and I were trying to get pregnant with James, it took us six months to conceive him. And when we started thinking about trying for a second baby, we just assumed that it would take us, you know, at least six months. We definitely didn't think that we were gonna get pregnant the first couple of months, even though we totally could have because it really has nothing to do with one another. The length of time it takes you to conceive one baby versus the next doesn't correlate necessarily, but we, I think we just knew it was gonna be like a little bit of a longer process for no reason that we're aware of. It just took us that long with James. And um, we've been trying for the same length of time. And I was exceptionally hopeful this cycle. I think because we've hit that length of time that we were trying with James. I just really felt like this was going to be the month. And um, I just feel more down about it than I have on previous cycles. The first few cycles, 
I wasn't even expecting it. So I actually wasn't really that disappointed at all. And then the last few has have gotten a little bit more and more disappointing, but this cycle has been like the worst one. I think out of both times trying for James and then, and then this one, this has just been the worst one. I just feel really emotional about it. And I think Alex does too. I think we feel a little bit, um, disheartened by it and we're under 35 and so they want you to try for a year before you go to see like a specialist and because we conceive james naturally like without any doctor intervention i'm i'm sure that we will get pregnant i know there is such thing as secondary infertility where you can get pregnant with the first child and then have to like work with a fertility specialist for the next I'm hoping that that won't be the case with us. And, you know, we're not at the point yet where we need to go in and like get tested for things, but I'm starting to think about it. And I didn't have to with James. It's just, it makes, it just, ugh, it's just really overwhelming. To be honest, it's kind of hard for me to sit here and talk about this because I, have just been pretty private with this kind of stuff on YouTube and you know with James like we never talked about it until after we were announcing our pregnancy and then I was more open about like the fact that it took us six months and all this stuff but I have been watching some mom vloggers that are more open with the trying to conceive process and it makes me feel less alone and also it just, it's, in, it's like super interesting for me to watch and know that there are other people that are going through it. Obviously there are, there's tons of people that are trying to have a baby, but it just makes you feel like you have a little tribe out there, even if you've never met those people in real life. And so I just thought, let me be your tribe. <laughs> if you are trying for a baby and it's not happening as quickly as you had hoped, I just want you to know that you're not alone and it is disappointing. It is really emotional and I feel bad even talking about it because I know that there are women who try for years and years and work with fertility specialists and do IVF and still don't conceive and I have a beautiful baby boy. So I don't want to come across as like, whiny like i want all the babies and i'm not pregnant well i just want to just be open about it with you guys i think it's pretty obvious i think you guys know that we're trying for a baby i mean i've never come out and said it but you know i think it's obvious but it hasn't happened yet i am doing everything within my power to um maximize our chances every month. I am charting, I'm using a BBT thermometer. I was using just the Ava bracelet alone for a few cycles, but I've actually, this cycle added back in an actual oral BBT thermometer because I kind of want to just do all of it, which is a little bit crazy. I actually don't think I'm going to temp with an oral next month because it's actually really stressful and stress is not good when you're trying to conceive. And I can do an entire video telling you guys like all the things that I use, the books that I've read about it, blah, blah, blah. So you can let me know if that is something that you'd be interested in watching in a comment below. But yeah, I mean, that, that's just it. You know, we've been trying for a while and I'm just feeling like this cycle, I just felt down about it. And I just took the test this morning and it was negative And I just, I was like exceptionally hopeful this cycle. So I think that that always is hard. On a totally different note, one of my favorite authors just released a new book and I'm so excited about it. I have already grabbed it on my Kindle and I'm going to start reading it tonight. The author is Wendy Webb and I found one of her books. I think it was called Daughters of the Lake. That was the first one that I read. It was recommended to me on Amazon and i just decided to give it a try and i was so hooked that i binge read all of her books she doesn't have a ton out i think she has like five so i mean it wasn't like super extensive but i did read all of her books they were all incredible i would say she's like a gothic horror writer so it's a little bit different than what i typically recommend to you guys but i was if you like scary movies and you like that kind of mystery intention 
It's so good. So she has a new one out. I'm very excited to start reading it and kind of get my mind off of everything. I just heard Alex get home. He was at Lowe's. He went to the RV. We have it at like a storage place and he does maintenance on it every now and then if we haven't used it just to make sure everything's okay. So he drove it around for a little bit, filled it with gas and then he went to Lowe's and he picked up a couple things for the house and I just heard him walk in. So I think I'm going to get together with him try to figure out what the weather update is and see if we're gonna do the haircut. James really needs a haircut. Like he really has an unfortunate do right now. This place is so cute. James, pick a place. Where do you wanna sit? You want a car? A balloon? A balloon? A balloon. A balloon. Let's get a before. <laughs> Your little mullet that your dad cut. Mm -hmm. It looks really bad. Let's get it done. Yeah, everybody make fun of daddy. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. You ready to get out of this truck? Go. Let's go. Let's rock. Get in rock. Get in rock. Yeah, run Let's like Auntie go. Bear. Let's rock and rock and rock. This one looks so tired. You wanna go to bed? Is your haircut good? We are back from dinner. The storm system that was supposed to come through has not hit yet. And I think it's not as intense as they thought it was going to be earlier. So we got James's haircut. It looks so cute. I'm so glad that we actually went and got that done. And then we went over to Blair's place. And while we were at her place, the strangest coincidence happened. I just realized that my grandmother is wearing the same shoes as me. <laughs> Oh dear. James just sat on the floor and played with some Jenga blocks for a very long time. They definitely entertained him. And then we ordered in some food and we just all hung out. We drank some White Claw and it was just really nice. So that is, that's, that's been our day. We're gonna watch the, the reunion half. episode of Love is Blind, which yeah. we binged and very much enjoyed. We have the second half of the reunion episode left mm. and we've been talking about it and looking forward to it all day. So mm -hmm. we're gonna get in our PJs. James is already in his PJs. We're gonna watch Love is Blind, probably make some popcorn and then we're just gonna go to sleep. Yep. So yep, yep. I will see you guys with my next video. Goodbye.